When I was a child, my mom made me cook with her a lot in the kitchen. And at the time, I didn't like it because I would have rather be outside and bike or do other things. But I learned a great skill in the kitchen with my mom, which was feel the ingredients and feel what's going on with the temperature in the oven and then change the recipe appropriately. And that's exactly what I do now for research. I have about 109 ingredients, the elements on the periodic table, right? 109 is mitnerium. I don't use that and I don't use quite a few of others, um, but it's easier for me to just name off the periodic table the elements that I don't use. Um, let's see, I, those would be thallium and mercury, uh, which uh, can be dangerous. Um, but on the same token, I have been working a lot of ar with arsenic recently, which if handled properly um, is very benign. So I use what I've learned in cooking with my mom to actually feel the ingredients in my lab and realize which way I would have to change a recipe, how I should adjust uh, I th more knobs that I have available now. For example, pressure, um, composition, temperature, uh, etc. And I use all of those knobs in, like I said, modifying a recipe in order to synthesize the compound that I want.